Hey guys, welcome back, Rogue Glide Garage. Today's topic I want to cover is the hydraulic clutch on my 2016 Rogue Glide. What I experienced and what my thought is of why it happened. I, this was during my trip to Sturgis. Um, I was going from Bakersfield, California to Salt Lake City, Utah. And somewhere across the Utah desert, let's say, it was a well, most of that day was about 105 to 110 degrees. I just absolutely could not outrun the heat. But this particular point, I was near the end of a fuel run. So I had been going probably about two and a half, three hours of 85 to 90 miles an hour. And I went to get off the interstate to go get some fuel. And I went to squeeze the clutch and I had no clutch, which was eerie feeling. But... I was able to pump it up. By the time I got to the, ex the exit off the interstate, I was able to pump it back up. And it was still soft, but it was there. Um, almost like brakes when you pump them back. They're still there, but there's something going on. So I get fuel, and I think I was in Fillmore, Utah when this happened. There was nobody going to look at a Harley. So I get back on the interstate, and I'm like, you know what? I'll get to Salt Lake. So it happened again. I think I had one more fuel stop in between Salt or Fillmore and, and Salt Lake. That night I get to Salt Lake and I pull the I pull the cover off the reservoir on the clutch and it seemed fine. Now I let the bike cool off and everything was everything seemed normal. I was like, okay, well, let's see how it is in the morning. Maybe we'll have to run and find a Harley dealer in Salt Lake before we continue on. So, the next morning I get on the bike, clutch is normal. It's 100% back to how it always was. Then that day up on I-80 across Wyoming, it was still really hot. I don't know why they have Sturgis in August, because it's hotter than hell. But, it happened again. And about the time I was coming into Rock Springs, Wyoming, and I stopped into uh, Green River Harley or Flaming Gorge Harley in Green River, Wyoming. And I asked them, they didn't know much, they didn't, didn't sound like they'd ever heard it. So I got to, where did I go that night? Gillette, Wyoming. I got to Gillette, temperatures had kind of cooled off. And then the next morning, clutch was fine. Went into Sturgis, spent the days. On the way home, it happened again. On the really hot days. So here's here's what here's what's going on. Your clutch reservoir holds all the fluid. Your line runs down to the slave cylinder, which is right below the catalytic converter. On those really hot days, it's just heating up. It's it's cooking the fluid. But here's the thing: if you don't know, brake fluid is one of the best attractants of moisture. So if you don't regularly change it. Like, I hadn't. I, I bet you that was the same fluid that was in the bike when it, when it was built in 2016. But the moisture in it starts to boil, which gets that fluid super hot. And you go to squeeze it, and it, it just it's so thin it doesn't have anything to compress. And as soon as you get the temps back down, you get your clutch back. So I don't know if anybody else has had this happen. Comment, let me know. Let me know if it makes sense of what's going on. Um, one thing I did do, there was a $7 tool, and I'm going to do a service tutorial on changing clutch fluid. There was about a $7 tool that I bought. It was a moisture indicator for brake fluid. Uh, well, either the brake side or the clutch side, same fluid. And it'll tell you whether or what percentage of moisture you have in your brake fluid. I flushed it the week I got home, and... It's been six, seven months and haven't had an issue one with it again. So I'm thinking the heat from the catalytic converter and the road and just the, the constant 105 to 110 degree air, air temperatures blowing across that slave cylinder just cooked it. And it would come back. So let me, let me, let me, let me hear your experience, what you think of my theory. Um, hope this helps somebody out there. Thanks, guys.